What is up everybody? It's your boy Fink here. And I tell you what, we are on the second map of the new Call of Duty Onslaught pack. And uh, we're taking a look at Fog. Now, Fog has a very beautiful but dark ambience to it. It uh, makes you feel like you've been dropped into a survival horror series. Now, if you want to establish your dominance on this map and totally wreck noobs, there are some key locations that you want to make note of. The Lodge. The Lodge is a two-story building. It is the biggest and main housing on the map. Now, it has a bunch of windows, but the best thing about this map is there's no perfect sightline. So, uh, snipers are not going to be strong on this map. Unless you got them quick scopers, which, you know, they missed their dead. Now, it is all close quarters inside this house. And there are so many entryways in it. So, there are so many ways to get people that are camping, guys. You can hop up on any of the ledges and window sills to get up to the windows up top. And there's multi entrances down on the bottom to flank through the bottom. Now, moving on to the second area, which would be Catacombs. Catacombs is the main central point of the map. It is a maze-like area in the middle of the map that you can take from pretty much every area of the map, the marina, and so on. Now, it is very close quarters combat. Shotguns and SMGs are going to favor on this. Now... I suggest that if you're running Stalker, go ahead and run through, aiming down the sights. It's going to be the easiest way to pick off people who are running through and uh, ambush them. Now, Campsite. Campsite is right outside of the Lodge. It is uh, has a little ledge on the right and the trailer and everything. I've only seen a few people camp over here. It is not a very popular hotspot. You might not run into any confrontations the whole game going through this area. I know that a lot of people go from this area straight to the catacombs. So best to watch your corners. Bush wikis are a very hard area in this spot. They can blend into the wall very easily. So just keep your eyes open. Sound horror if you have to. Now Marina. Oh my god, what can I say about Marina? That isn't, isn't bad. Now Marina is exactly what it is it's a boat yard for the lake there now there are so much camp spots in marina i would suggest that if you are a running gunner stick to the catacombs and the lodge because the marina is going to be held out by somebody that is in the back in the dark camping or peekabooing around a corner it is a major hot spot for confrontations and there is just no way of getting around it. This is the main camping spot in the whole game. So be on your watch. They are usually in between the little cabins and the shacks. So, like I said, keep an eye out. And I would avoid this area if need be. Now, the this map in general is going to over-favor shotguns such as the Bulldog. SMGs such as the Vepper, MTAR and the vector now I've, I use an assault rifle on this map except I use a little bit I use mostly the honey badger and the uh, new maverick now this map everybody has an amazing twist to it if you are lucky enough to pick up field orders and complete them a normal jug suit is going to be turned into Michael Myers. As soon as you pick up that jug suit, the whole ambience of the map changes. The music changes. Everybody's heart, I guarantee you, is racing because they do not want to see Michael Myers behind you. It is one of my favorite maps by far in a Call of Duty series. Well, everybody, this is about the end of the video. I hope you guys like this, and if it helped you at all, and any of these tips helped you, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. And like I said, guys, look out for Michael Myers because he can come up behind you out of nowhere. We've lost the lead! 